Welcome to episode four in my five-part series on Mission Command. In this episode, we're gonna talk about how to build a culture of Mission Command in your team and your organization. Three simple steps. Step one, unleash the power of clear guidance. Step two, new soldier integration. And step three, counseling and evaluations. Let's start with step one. How do we unleash the power of clear guidance? Well, that guidance has to be short, succinct, and memorable so that it is disseminated to the lowest level throughout your organization. Let me give you an example. When I was a young major, I showed up at 3-2 Striker Brigade, the Arrowhead Brigade, commanded by Colonel Steve Townsend, now four-star general Steve Townsend. And uh, his guidance for the deployment to Iraq was very simple. I want disciplined initiative, and I want people to live on amber. Five words, disciplined initiative and live on amber. And that was his guidance to us. And every member of that brigade knew and lived that guidance. Let me tell you a quick story. So when I showed up into Iraq, it was month 12 of their 15 month deployment. And I was gonna be a battalion S3. I walk off the plane, somebody grabs me to, to take me across the tarmac and says, sir, have you heard of Colonel Townsend's discipline initiative, Live on Amber? And I said, no, I don't, what's that? And then he, he went on to explain it to me. And I stopped at the reception desk. The young clerk said, sir, in this brigade, we live discipline initiative and we live on Amber. And he had the sign behind him. And I said, oh, okay, you know, I'm starting to get it. I show up at my unit, same thing. First thing I hear, have you heard about Colonel Townsend's guidance, discipline initiative, live on Amber. By the, by the time I had been there an hour, I understood the commander's guidance. And it was short, it was memorable, it had been disseminated and communicated again and again and again. And that guidance built a culture of empowerment in that brigade. And that's the power of clear guidance. Step two, new soldier integration. How you integrate soldiers into your organization has a huge impact on building a culture of mission command. Think back to the first time you showed up at your first unit. You were scared, you were alone, you didn't have any friends, you were overwhelmed, and you were very, very impressionable. Those first 24, 48, 72 hours were so key in determining what kind of a soldier you were gonna be. The first thing we gotta do with our new soldiers is give them that warm welcome. If they're married, make sure their families are welcome, make sure they're taken care of. And then we gotta pair them with a strong performer that understands how we operate in our organization. And then we also gotta just communicate with them. Start from day one explaining what mission command means in your organization, and you're gonna raise somebody up from a young age who understands mission command and how you interpret it in your team or your organization. Step three, counseling and evaluations. Hey, the bottom line at the end of the day, everybody wants to get promoted. Everybody wants to make more money so they can take care of their family. Everybody wants to be in a position where they can have more impact. So we've got to tie counseling with our definition of mission command. If you're not giving your definition of mission command and your expectations of mission command in your initial counseling, and then following up on it in your performance counseling and ultimately going over it in your evaluation, you are missing out big time. That is our time to sit down one-on-one -on -one and really define what mission command means to us and what we want it to mean in our team, in our organization. People will pay attention real quick when you tie it to their individual counseling and ultimately to their promotion. Hey, the final way to build a culture of mission command is by using social media. We're gonna talk about that in my next and our final video in this series on Mission Command. Look forward to seeing you then.